Hello and thank you for joining me again. Today I'd like to give you a brief update on what's been coming across my painting table this week. Um, and in front of you you can see the finished Hittite chariot. Uh, it went together pretty well in the end. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy with the crew and the cabin. I'm less happy with the, the horses. Um, I had quite a lot of trouble painting the uh, scales on the armoured housings and I did for a while debate whether they should be in leather or in bronze. I, in the end I went with bronze. Um, they are not easy to paint um, and sometimes the detail kind of just disappears. Um, but on the whole I'm quite pleased with it. I have to base up some of the Hittite spearmen and put them alongside it to see how they work together but um, given the difference in price between the foundry Hittite chariot and this Hittite chariot. Um, I'm leaning towards this chariot at the moment. Uh, apart from that, I also succeeded in finishing some more 15mm French Seven Years War Cavalry. This is the Fumel Regiment, again from the Order of Battle at Minden. Um, I like these. These are red facings. The grey, I used the new grey paint I picked up at Partizan. I was a bit worried about whether that would be glossy or not. And although it took a lot of shaking, an awful lot of shaking, it came out quite matte in the end. Um, and although it was a bit thin and I had to put two coats on at least in several places, uh, I think the end result is quite nice. I'm still working on what colour the shadow area should be. Uh, I think I haven't got that quite right here. But uh, overall, I'm quite pleased with those results. The next regiment of French cavalry on the table is one of the Blue Moon ones I picked up at uh, Partisan as well. And I want to see how they compare uh, when they're based, painted and based up. At the moment, I think perhaps the horses are bigger and the men are slightly smaller, which is an odd combination, but well, there you go. Now alongside those, I also succeeded in um, making some progress with my lunch next. Only one figure this week, this chap in green and blue. Um, he has some problems, well he's got some difficult sleeves. The, the sleeves are well sculpted and give a very nice impression of being full of slashes and uh, very theatrical in a sense but actually if you try to paint them it's quite tricky because they don't really all follow down you can't see where one line of uh, slashes goes and the next one starts so painting it is quite tricky but I'm quite pleased with him so he worked quite well I also tried painting up uh, this chap uh, this is one of the New Line Design Hittites um, wearing a bronze scale uh, coat uh, carrying a very large axe. I don't know what the uh, archaeological evidence for that style of axe is um, but he paints up quite well and I think he'll look quite nice in amongst the War Games Foundry Hittites that I've got going. So that was quite interesting and at the same time I also painted uh, one of the New Line Designs Libyans. So this gentleman here. Um, this is actually from the swordsman pack so he's supposed to be carrying a sword but I've got enough swordsmen I need more javelin men so I've used uh, well actually I think it's an old Lamming Miniatures javelin which I had in one of my bit boxes um, and it works Quite well, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, scale wise, again I'm going to see how they sit next to each other, but on the whole I think he's going to work quite well. Um, so I'll begin to build up that army as well, so it might be able to stand on its own at some point. And perhaps I'll have a uh, enough for a campaign in around about 1180 BC. Um, I don't think it's going to happen but it's nice to think about uh, so I was quite pleased with him so that's 
that's what I've managed to achieve this week. So again, thank you for watching.